Alrighty everybody, today is early February, not exactly sure the date, it's on a Tuesday, uh -uh, it's like the 10th maybe, I'm just going to give you a quick update on what's going on outside here, so there's the yucca, looks pretty sad, but they die back in, this, in the winter time, there's like four or five um, pieces sticking up, that's kind of normal for what they look like, um, that's the one I put up here by itself just to, for an experiment. Hopefully it lives, but you never know. Um, so I'll walk down here and show you show you all of them. We've got a fair bit of snow, but not a whole lot. The ones that are the ones that are in amongst everything else is for the most part just buried in snow. So um but they look what sticks up out of the snow looks pretty good, so I mean honestly who knows what they're gonna end up being. Um, they'll go in the greenhouse we'll put them in the greenhouse sometime in early March because they're going to go to the auction in April so I'm going to make sure they look good in April when they when they um, the auction starts which is April I'm not sure the date on that either but they're going to go pretty early in April um, I'm going to give you an update on on the uh, cattle plant greenhouse the zipper I'm not going to open it up because it's kind of cold outside it's in the lower 30s high 20 somewhere in there but just so everybody knows i've been asked about this a few times that zipper does not work in the cold snow so on and so forth um it didn't go all the way up it still holds true pretty good up through there but this lower part it's as you can see it's coming apart so um yeah so this spring fall whatever this summer sometime i'm gonna have to change I'm gonna have to change the zipper on the on the screen door, so or the door. So I don't know. I'll, I'll probably just put a door up here. I'll probably just make a door and put it on. I may I may make it like a scissor type thing, but I'll probably just put a put a door, a regular door on it. Um, that's that. So raised beds. There, this raised bed here where all the sun chokes are, it's buried in the snow. Nothing fancy, just buried in the snow. The main garden, the main garden itself is buried. The kale is pretty much, pretty much done. Um, actually, there's still some green, which is surprising because it's been extremely cold. It's been cleared down. It's been cleared down to like eight below zero here. It's been colder some places. The guy I worked with said there a few weeks ago it was down to, it was down to. Uh, 20 below there last week one day the bird feeder from our bird seed that we harvested they're still eating the heck out of that they love it pretty good I'm gonna walk over here to the greenhouse I got my trailer out from down below the other last evening me and the wife pushed it up out of there and went over and got a super sack full of potting mix that's the potting mix that we use um, it's a pretty big pretty big pod we have another one down there you can't see it's real good there, but it's there. Um, last year we used, I think, three of these, maybe four, but we had mums. This year we're not going to do mums. So we should be able to get away with that one and that one that we have down below. I'm going to take you inside the greenhouse and show you something else, too. The snow blower, we keep it in here in the wintertime just because it's warmer with the plastic on. Um, and it's close to the driveway, so we don't have to worry too much about it. So one thing... One thing that we're going to do, that we did yesterday actually, I went and when I was over there at the greenhouse supply store, I was going to take some video there, but they're Amish and they don't, they don't, they're pretty private. They don't like their faces and whatnot, and I don't want to offend anybody, so I didn't video anything. But I bought these, and they were going to be, that's where we put our hanging baskets is on those rails. I'm going to put two more, one, one right about where that fan is, then one, one right about where that fan is. It'll run the full length of the greenhouse. So. We got. A, I'm not sure how many more great or. Uh, I'm not sure how many more hanging baskets we're doing this year than we did last year, but we're at least doubling what we did last year. Um, so I need to make sure I have plenty of places to hang those. So I want to. I want to get those. I'll probably get them up this week. Maybe maybe tomorrow. It's supposed to be pretty warm tomorrow evening, so I might work on it a little bit tomorrow. If not, we're they're not coming to March, so. 
it's not that big a deal. And then we got some other of them, some of these, uh, I'll show you these too quick while I'm here. The hanging baskets, they hang, they're so high you can't reach them. So they hang off these little S hooks. Um, I got some more longer ones to go there and then some shorter ones. Actually, these will be shorter because this, this part here, if you had it here and you had plants under it, there's not much room, so I'm gonna. I got some short ones. I'm gonna put these up to about right there somewhere. So there's room under them. I'll take those down. All those down here on this side. That side up there will still work. And I got some. Uh, I think they're 36 inch ones, three foot long. That'll go down this row and that row over there. And then these here, I think, are gonna be 15 inches instead of 24s. So. That's where we are with things so far this spring. Um, I got uh, some more plants that are going to come in on Friday. Some came with post come this past Friday, but I, they didn't come till Monday. So I'll, I'll show you those plants Friday when the rest comes. And uh, these boxes right here is what them hook, S hooks come in. I'm not going to open them up. There's a there's a hundred in each box, so that's more than what I want to need. But that's what that's what we got. Um, right now it's pretty chilly outside. I got a little thermometer inside the greenhouse. It's uh, in the mid 40s here. It's like 28 or 29 outside. Um, this greenhouse actually holds pretty good heat. There's no the heat's. I got heat back there, but it's not turned on. So it won't be turned on till March. So whenever we get the hanging baskets, that's when we'll turn the heat on. Um, I'm gonna also also too when I put the put the other pole down through there and there like I like I said a minute ago when I do that I'm also gonna run some irrigation lines and I need to uh, I'm gonna put a T in this line right here so I can put my timer on it and I want to run it and feed all my uh, hanging baskets so so we don't have to take the time to water them every day because you you water the hundred hanging baskets and I mean that takes a fair bit of time and we don't open till April so we got from beginning of March till late April to water hand water everything every day that's an hour or two hours every day that we if I set a timer on that I won't have to worry about it. I mean that's gonna save us some time so so you think about it a little bit of time saves you a lot of a little bit of money saves you a lot of time so um, to me spending time with family and friends is more important than than working so we try to make things as, as efficient as possible I'm not as efficient as I'd like to be on a lot of things but we're pretty we try to be efficient so that's where we are right now at this point in time sorry for dragging on and rambling a little bit I know I talk too much so thank you all for watching um, we've had a pretty good week so far on as far as subscribers and views I greatly appreciate that if this video has been helpful at all in any way shape or form please like it if Please share it if you think somebody you know would would like the video to watch the video. And um, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, thanks again. Take care and God bless.